Howdy all, the real Slimzilla here. I just wanted to share some quick info about crafting stim packs, since so many people are asking about where to find the recipe. The recipe for crafting stim packs is tied into two quests dealing with important plot points, so for this video, I will not spoil that info. To start off, the required ingredients for stim packs are as follows one blood pack, two antiseptic, and one steel. The easiest way to acquire two of these items on your list is by killing ticks. Ticks can normally be found in two locations the Moonshiner's Shack just south of Vault 76 and Gilman's Lumber Mill. Ticks have a chance of dropping tick sacks, which give you two antiseptic. Once you have an antiseptic, you can use that towards crafting blood packs. Blood packs are crafted by combining one antiseptic and two tick bloods. Killing ticks seems to be the fastest way to gather the needed items for crafting stim packs as they are a source for most of the items needed. It is important to note that there are other sources of antiseptic. Those are Toothpaste, Industrial Solvent, Autopsy Board Game, Royal Jelly, Turpentine, and Abraxo Cleaner, which can be scrapped to gain the antiseptic. The last ingredient on our list is steel. It is a very common item, and can be found almost anywhere in the game, so for this reason I will not try to go over locations for steel. Once all the ingredients are collected, find the nearest chemistry station and craft the blood packs with the goods you got from the ticks. Once you're done with that process, then craft the stim packs with the remaining items. IMPORTANT! Unlocking the recipe needed to craft stim packs requires you to finish two specific quests which are tied into the main story arc. The names of these quests are Bunker Buster and One of Us, but for the sake of not spoiling some of the important plot points of Fallout 76, I will not be revealing their location, because if you're like most people, having something like the plot points of a game or movie spoil the experience. It is important to note that the recipe can be attained right after leaving the vault, as there are no level requirements for the quests. Just remember, keep your eye out for higher level wasteland baddies. One other important thing to remember is once you have the recipe, read it from the notes section of your Pip-Boy. Otherwise, you won't learn it. Aside from stim packs, there are many ways to heal your character. Cooking food is another great way to not only heal yourself, but hold off the effects of hunger. I just want to say thank you all for watching this quick and dirty wasteland guide, and I hope it helps you survive the wilds of Appalachia. This has been the real Slimzilla. See ya all later.